Hello, this is Janet16 and today I will be taking a look at this N-Scale Kato 10 car Al Capitan set. I bought this just a couple of days ago. I've had it on pre-order for quite a while. Um, always wanted this set for when I do the American Engage and everything. Um, couldn't say no really. When, when I saw it was announced I was like, yep, yeah, I'll order that. So what I've got to do is get out of the box and we'll take a look at it. And we'll take a closer look at some of the uh, cars that are actually in the set. So here it is out of the sleeve, let's say. It's it's kind of a sleeve, it's kind of a box. I'm, I'm calling it a sleeve. Um, and here it is. Now you'll notice a reflection. That's because this comes with a nice plastic cover um, to protect the coaches. And it also means you could display it like this if you wanted to. Um, I have seen people do that. You, it comes with some track, so you can um, put the models on a shelf or something. Um, I've never... This is the first time seeing this kind of Kato track. And I did get out earlier on today, um, just to have a look at it. And I'm really impressed how it clicks together. Um, I, I can't understand why Hornby are not doing anything like that. Because that's something that could really help with younger younger kids playing with model railways and everything. That could be a really good selling point. Um, I believe Backman tried something like it. Um, but no, Hornby oven and that would be a good selling point. And this is end scale as well, so even better. Um, as it's a bit fiddlier to try and get the track together and everything. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look. So, 10 car rake. You can buy an additional two cars to go with this. And I, I do need to order that. I do want to make it the full rake, so I, I will get those two ordered. Um, by the way, this is from a model shop called Trains Tracks. I'll put a link in the description and check them out. Um, I, once or twice I've had people message me, if you ever shopped here, because they don't like oh, you like paying for PayPal and that. Um, but I, I I haven't had any problems at all. I, I this is probably my fourth item from them over the course of a year, and you know I'm really happy with it. Great service. It usually goes out. It usually takes two days after payment to arrive, which is great. Uh, no different to anyone else out there with model shops. So yeah, do try their shop out. Um, I do highly recommend them, and they really specialise in this American Engage stuff, which is quite hard to um, come by it in the UK in random model shops and that. So I'm gonna get the uh, bit track out, and we'll do two coaches at a time, and go through them like that. So here's our first two cars. Now keep in mind that you can buy a two car set to go with this ten car set. And that would include uh, include a storage that will include a storage mail car which would be 3530 and that would go in front of this car here. Then this car is baggage 3505, this one. And then you have your baggage dormitory, which is this one. So yeah, if you get the extra car pack which I'm going to that's that's on my list um, yeah that's what you need so I just noticed I've not put on a track properly neither um, and again just a note the track that comes with you know the Kato track the clip in point is very nice so that's something that I think some other companies should have a look at doing so the detail on these are very nice, especially this one, which, which we'll have a look at in a second. But these baggage cars, I do like them. I have one or two already, not with Santa Fe on though. Um, I think, I can't remember what is on the side, but they might just be plain. I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's a very nice one. Um, very nice two cars. We'll take a closer look at this one as well. The way the roof steps up at the back, so it has an unusual look to it. Um, and the roof steps up, and the reason for that is it matches the next car behind it, which goes to double decker, um, which you don't see in the UK again. 
you do see in some European countries and that, especially in America, where they have the double-decker cars. And it's really nice. It wouldn't work in the UK just because of all our old bridges and everything. You'd have to demolish a lot of bridges and that. Um, and it's just not worth the hassle at the end of the day, I don't think. But no, it's an unusual looking coach car um, and the way it steps up. But yeah, it's nice. And that one was 3479, a baggage dormitory. What I'll do, I'll take a look at the next car with it so I can show you how the roof stands up. Okay, so this is our baggage car, and I've just put another car behind, and you can see how it raises up to a very nice, uh, very slick, very smooth, and it gives this baggage car very unusual look because you wouldn't normally see this, um, but no, it does does fit in quite nicely. Um, I don't know, from this angle, it looks a bit crooked. Um, there we go. Yeah, just leaning on one side, but no. So what I'll do is get two more cars and we'll take a closer look at them. So here's two more. Now this is the one I just had out for with the uh, baggage car to show you how the roof raises up. Um, so let's make sure I get this right. Um, I, on the back of the box, I'll show you at the end of the video, um, I, or might just mix it in, but they tell you um, the uh, way the coach is, the uh, car's got to be put into a set, what what way and everything, um, in order basically. So this is a step step down coach, this one. Step down, yeah it's a step down coach and then this one is just classed as a coach, um, which is great. They do look very nice. Again, they all couple up really nice together as well. And you can see they are different, different windows on the sides. Um, so this one would be in front of this one. Um, and this is 536, and this is 718. And yeah, they are really nice. My, um, oh, what, I can't think of his name now someone on Facebook he, he messaged me saying about these coaches when I posted some pictures they're quite plain yes but they are like that in real life and I, I just like it I like the detail on these N-Gage models um, so let's move on to the next two so here's the next two cars so we have now coach 705 which is this one here and Dyna car 650. Um, I should say straight away as well, see in detail inside the windows, you can see very nicely. Um, it's blue now, I don't know what they were on the real ones, um, but again, it's a very nice little extra. And it's N gauge, I, I can't get over the detail of some of these models. Um, I mean, the old double O and the old gauge. It's kind of standard as of today because the progression over the years and everything. Um, but this is kind of new to me, engaged territory. So yeah, I'm really impressed with the detail, especially like around the um, bogies down here and everything. Very nicely done, and even around the doors, very fine. I mean, it's all one molded piece, but it really does look like a handrails and everything. Um, and I really do like the Santa Fe on the side of these. That's very nice. Um, if we take a closer look at this one here, you can just see what I mean around the um, door and down here, maybe some electrical points or something. Um, something to do when the coaches are not moving. And even the vents down here. See that? That's very nice. You can almost it looks like you can see into them but you can't um they are a solid piece but yeah it gives that illusion but no very nice um and if we just move around and have a look at this here 705 again like i said all the windows are different on nearly every car um i think they are different on every car actually there's not one the same um but no very nice so let's move on to the next two before we move on to the next two, I've only just noticed something with this diner car. 
it's a sits wheeled bogey at each end. I did not know this when I got the model out. It wasn't until I put it in the box, went to get the next 2.0 and I realised it had more wheels. Going back to UK rolling stock, I have one or two LMS coaches, diamond coaches that also run on um, 12 wheels, 6 wheel bogeys. And yeah, very nice. I did not realise that. I do like the look of that now with the uh, 6 wheel bogey. Um, and don't need, again, the fine detail around the bogey and that. Very nice. Um, but yeah, that, that surprised me. And I do like that. Okay, so here's two more. Um, there's only two more left after this one. And this is very nice. I like, I like these kind of uh, coaches, cars, um, with the windows on the roof. So when you're sat down, um, you can basically look up. So this is the lounge car. And then uh, 575, and then we have another coach, and that is 707, yeah. So we got 575 and 707. But yeah, the lounge car, basically you come up here, you, you know, just relapse, and you'd be able to see up into the sky. Um, I'm guessing, being in California and everything, um, looking up, the sun coming down on you, could hurt your eyes so I'm guessing you'd have sunglasses or a nice big hat on but at night time um, running through you know like through Nevada and everything well these ran between Chicago and I'm gonna get this wrong now so you know looking at at night time through the stars and everything would be pretty cool um, but yeah that's very nice Right, this is 707. We'll just have a bit of a closer look. I had to stop the video because my dog wanted to get up on a sofa, which is behind where I'm filming. Um, and we nearly had an accident where she nearly flung one of these lovely carriages flying because she stepped on the track and it lifted it up. But it's all okay. Um, and she's uh, forgiven now while she cleans herself on the sofa. <laughs> but yeah, so this is 707 and very nice again. The detail just around here, it's very fine. There's no separately fitted parts, but you don't really need it. I mean, you've got the steps here, just at the bottom of the coach, and they look really impressive. Uh, you've got the grills here, again, they are really nice and shiny, like almost a chrome, and they stand out from the actual carriage itself. We've gone on carriage now from coach to car. Um, but no, yeah, this one, this is nice. And again, you've got one of the um, vents down the side here. And it does look like a separately fitted piece. Um, but no, very nice. This is a very nice one. So we'll move on now to the last two that come with the set. So we have our last two cars. Um, if you were to buy the extra two car set to go with this 10 car set, you would have 703 between these two cars. Um, we got 721, just a standard coach, and then this one is a 530 step down coach. Um, and this one's a little special, and we'll have a closer look in a minute why. But this is basically your normal. Like we've add just um, different window alignments. Um, it does look like the same as 705 window alignments. So there is um, one the same in the set. Uh, just different running numbers. But yeah, very nice. Um, but this one, this is the one that is just a little bit nicer. Um, because if we move around to the back, I will show you. So here's the back of this coach, what would go at the end of your rake, 530. And look at this, you've got the Al Capitan logo on the back door. And I suppose that's meant to be a light or something. Um, you know, your tail light. But no, very nice that that's included. It kind of has to be because it's on the box like that. Um, the box art I'm looking at right now, and yeah. Um, I don't know if this light lights up with just normal, um, without DCC. That's something I'll have to find out. But yeah, that's very nice. I just like the look of that logo. 
Um, it's is it a Viking or something? I don't know. Someone will correct me in the bottom. Um, but I, I did get it wrong earlier on. It went between Los Angeles and Chicago. I couldn't think of the name. I was trying to look on the bots and I couldn't find it. But yeah, I found it now. So yeah, what we'll do, we'll put all the um, cars on the table, have a look, and we'll finish up this video. Um, I thought I'd put this in before we fin finish the video. On the back of these boxes, you get um, basically a diagram showing you what order the uh, cars got to go in. And the blue squares are noted as the two extra cars you can get for this set. Um, so yeah, that's really nice. Uh, you don't see this on models much. And I think that that's really nice how they've done that. And of course it shows you the diesels, you know, your locomotives that would pull this that you need as well. But yeah, very nice to see that. So here's your 10 car rake that you get with the set. Obviously you get a bit of track to display the model and everything. There was also a little detail pack, and that's just, um, from what I could tell, like vacuum pipes and that, that go between the um, cars. Uh, I don't know if I'll be fitting them, we'll see. But yeah, it's a really nice set, I do really recommend this one. Um, I can't wait to stick on the layout and show you all what it looks like. Of course I have to get the diesel units that would be pulling this. Um, which are on the box is F7A and that and F7Bs so I'll get that sorted and hopefully I can show you it running um, and I'll just finish this video by saying thank you for watching and subscribing and if you want to see more American stuff please let me know in the comments below but yeah thank you for watching can't wait to get this out on a layout and bye until next time